Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house. How I loved that poem as a kid and I finally had a chance to do something about it as an artist. My brand new Christmas painting, The Night Before Christmas. Now the story behind this is very interesting because when I start a series of paintings, oftentimes I'm not quite sure where it's gonna go. Years ago, I began my Home is Where the Heart is series. And the first painting in that series, Home is Where the Heart is, features a classic Victorian house, a farmhouse, a two-story grand home, just like those I saw in my little hometown of Placerville, California, growing up. I love those homes because they have those big, wide porches on them. And in the case of home is where the heart is, I put a kitty cat walking across the lawn. My daughter at that time had a little cat that she loved. I put a teddy bear. I put a swing just waiting for memories to be made. Home is where the heart is number two, which I created in 1996, carried that same Victorian theme forward. But instead of a dusk scene, we see a midday scene. The light of a beautiful summery day is washing over the classic Victorian farmhouse, the two-story house, and of course the arbor out front welcoming visitors to come and pay a visit on a nice summery day. And now for the third painting in Home is Where the Heart is, we have created a snow scene. Over the years, I have painted a number of different subjects but since the very beginning, Christmas and the holiday season has been a part of my artistic life. Other paintings have celebrated holiday gatherings, a small town Christmas life, the sense of a holidays in the rain with no snow, but the same kind of nostalgia. Even a setting that suggests a silent night over a wintry cottage. Now, some of you may remember my painting called Victorian Garden Number no. 2. It was a classic Victorian house in springtime setting. The flowers were ablaze and the home was being hit by that morning light. It was a very radiant painting. Well, Home is Where the Heart is 3, the night before Christmas here, is a recreation of my Victorian Garden painting. And you can actually take Victorian Garden Number no. 2 and fade between the springtime setting into that beautiful winter blanket of snow. And you see how I really enhanced the mood and tried to create that sense of a frosty palette, that cool colors that makes you glad that the lights are on and you can step inside by that hearth and just warm your toes in front of the fire. The Night Before Christmas depicts just that. It is an evening setting. You see the backlit effect of the evening sky of winter, a very radiant sky illuminating in the distance, the clouds that are wisping overhead. Of course, little bits of light are catching the edges of the trees that you see in the distance, and patches of light are hitting on the Victorian house. I especially like the effects of light on this painting. And that cooler palette that I talk about really lends itself to the dimming lights. When you see the lights in the studio begin to grow dim, the lights within the Victorian house really radiate, especially the light on the snow. I have so much fun painting effects of light on the snow. In this case, our little snowman is catching the light just perfectly as the light is pouring over the landscape. Of course, a little sled is leaning up against the fence indicating that maybe little Johnny or little Jane has been out playing in the snow, riding down those hills. I remember growing up the wonderful feeling of getting the sled out for the first time in the year and sledding down those hillsides. And I even put a hidden end on the sled as a tribute to Nanette. That reminds me, there's four hidden ends in this painting. Now, when you get the painting home, you get out your magnifying glass and see if you can find all four ends. I put a Christmas wreath on the old-fashioned gas lamp post that you see out in front of the house. And of course, you notice the picket fence, so beautiful in the summertime against the foliage as its white pickets stand out so radiantly. Here it is blanketed with snow. It tends to blend in with the landscape surrounding the house. You have a sense that Christmas is upon us. You notice the Christmas lights of different colors twinkling. 
The children have built a snowman and he's got his top hat on as well as a scarf and some mittens to warm his hands. Of course, a painting of the magnitude of Home is Where the Heart is, number three, the night before Christmas, takes many, many hours to complete, and I put a lot of painstaking detail into the painting. Every board on every clabbered siding piece is hand detailed, all the finish work, each individual brick and the grout between the bricks, even the cracks on the walkway leading up to the old Victorian house. A lot of detail and a lot of care goes into these paintings. It's all about the Christmas season, and Christmas is known as the season of lights. Now, what's been interesting to me is that many collectors have told me over the years that they take their Christmas collection and use it as a part of the season. In other words, they bring those paintings out much like you would your Christmas wreaths and your stockings for the mantelpiece and all those decorations that you bring out and look forward to, the paintings can be a part of that decoration for the holidays. So if you're one of those who likes to seasonalize your home, so to speak, and bring your Christmas paintings out at Christmas, this would be a wonderful one to help you celebrate the joy of the season. Well, to me, the holiday season is a time for family and friends and fun. But it's also a time to reflect upon our blessings because believe me, all of us this year can certainly say that we've been blessed even if we have had challenges because life does bring challenges and Lord knows there's no such thing as a perfect year or a perfect life. But I choose to look at the good things in my art and to celebrate things like family, home, faith in God, the beauty of nature and the joys of simpler living. As a family, even we take inspiration from Tom's images. Those images of nature, faith, simpler times help our children realize that the world can be a beautiful place and that each of us can play a part in bringing a little bit of joy and beauty into someone else's life. And that is the greatest gift we can give each other at this holiday season. Joy, beauty, and peace. Well, that is so right, and so from our house to yours, Nanette and I both wish you a happy holiday season, and I really pray that my art will help you spread good cheer and celebrate the good things in life all through the house. And don't forget, any time of the year is a good time to share the light. God bless. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.